I tried to recreate this effect from Ben TK. Ben TK did amazing effects in this Europe tour video. You can check out this video under the description link. Now let's see how to make the 3D growing effect inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'll show you the easiest way to do this effect. And here I'm using this Eiffel Tower clip. You can download this clip from my website. I'll add this link under the description. First move the time indicator to the first frame. Now we need to take four snapshots. So click on this little camera icon. In the format option select PNG. Enable import into project. And click on OK. So it will take a snapshot to the project panel. Again take the snapshot three times. Now add these snapshots to the timeline. Then disable the top three snapshot layers by clicking this little eye bottom. Now right click on the bottom snapshot layer and select edit in Adobe Photoshop. So it will open up with Photoshop application. And here we are going to remove the Eiffel Tower from this image. So select the pen tool and draw a path around the Eiffel Tower. We don't need to do it properly. Now click Ctrl plus Enter to make a new selection. Then click Shift plus Backspace. Here select the content aware. And click on OK. Then click Ctrl plus D to deselect this selection. And here I'm using the patch tool to remove the bottom part of the Eiffel Tower. Now click Ctrl plus S to save it. And going back to the Premiere Pro. So in the first snapshot layer, we have completely removed the Eiffel Tower. Now enable the second snapshot layer. Again open it with Adobe Photoshop. Now I just need the bottom part of the Eiffel Tower. So take the pen tool and select this bottom part. But this time we have to make this selection properly. Then click Ctrl plus Enter to make a new selection. To invert this selection, click on Ctrl plus Shift plus I. Now just click on the Delete button. Then click Ctrl plus S to save it. And going back to the Premiere Pro. So in the second snapshot layer, we have the bottom part of the Eiffel Tower. Now enable the third snapshot layer. Again open it with Adobe Photoshop. This time we just need this middle part of the Eiffel Tower. So do the same thing again. And I just speed up this part, otherwise video will be too long. So in the third snapshot layer, we have the middle part of the Eiffel Tower. And last enable the top snapshot layer. Then again open it with Adobe Photoshop. So last we just need this top part of the Eiffel Tower. And do the same process again. Now we have completely separated the Eiffel Tower into three layers. Then disable the top three layers. At the bottom snapshot layer, we just need to hide the Eiffel Tower only. As you can see the video is frozen here. So we have to make a mask around the Eiffel Tower. Select the bottom snapshot layer. Then move over to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Opacity effect, select the Pen tool. And draw a mask around the Eiffel Tower. Now in this layer, we have the masking part only and the video is back again. Then enable the bottom part of the Eiffel Tower. I want to start this animation around 1 second. So move this layer 1 second to the right side. Then go to the Effects tab and search for Transform. Apply the Transform effect on this layer. Now move to the Effect Controls tab and make sure the time indicator is the first frame of this layer. Then under the transform effect, make a keyframe on the position. Now move the position where you think it's perfect. In my case, I like to move it down. Then move 15 frames to the left side. 
So hold on shift key, and press the right arrow key three times. Now reset the position value. Mark these keyframe, and make them ease in. It will make the animation more smooth. To add the motion blur, set the shutter angle 360. And let's see the preview. Now the animation is perfect. But I want to start this animation, from the bottom part of the Eiffel Tower. So select this pen tool, and draw a mask, around the bottom part of the Eiffel Tower. Now it looks perfect. Then move the time indicator first frame of this layer, and move 15 frames to the right side. Now enable the middle part of the Eiffel Tower, and move this layer to the current time indicator position. Then again add the transform effect on this layer. Now move to the effect controls. And this time I'm going to animate the position and then the rotation. So move the position down, and make rotation value 20. Then move 15 frames to the left side. Now reset the position and rotation value. Then make these keyframe ease in. And set the shutter angle 360. Now again we need to make a mask, around the middle part of the Eiffel Tower. So select the pen tool, and draw a mask. Then change the mask feather to zero. And that's it for the middle part. Now move the time indicator first frame of this layer, and move 15 frames to the right side. Then enable the top part of the Eiffel Tower, and move this layer to the current time indicator position. Again add the transform effect on this layer. Then move to the effect controls tab. Under the transform effect, make keyframe on the position. Then change the position down. Move 15 frames to the right side. And reset the position value. Now make these keyframe ease in. And set the shutter angle 360. Again we need to make a mask, around the top part of the Eiffel Tower. So select the pen tool, and draw a mask. And set the mask feather 0. And there we go, the 3D growing animation is done. To make this animation more perfect, I added some particles and smoke. Then nest all of the layers, and I added some whoosh and hit impact sound effects. You can check out my ultimate sound effects pack under the description link. Then I added some LUT presets on this adjustment layer. Also you can check out my ultimate LUT presets pack. And finally I added the camera shake preset on the nested sequence. You can free download my 5 camera shake presets from my website. So that's all for this 3D growing animation. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.